So this is Scott Garibane. I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons and I want to talk about the brand new 2024 Avatar Last Airbender, uh, the incredible work done by Netflix to bring Avatar Last Airbender to life. And I wanted to talk about Iroh and Zuko, 100% spoilers for 2024 Avatar Last Airbender. And I think what really, uh, I walked away from this show just blown away. And I think, there, and actually, I think there's so much happening in 2024 Avatar Last Airbender. There's so many stories being told that are interlaced. And it, this is truly one of our, our greatest intellectual properties. And I think really, um, 2005 Avatar Last Airbender was fantastic. Uh, and But it, it kind of didn't matter because it lived on Nickelodeon and then it lived on like Amazon Prime and nobody saw it on either of those two areas. And then it, it landed on Netflix and it blew up and the whole world watched it, right? And it was just, and it really blew up. And then Netflix has catapulted from, you know, Netflix took Avatar Last Airbender from base camp to the peak of the mountain and then they build a launching pad at the at, at the peak of the mountain and that's what 2024 is and i think what's really interesting as dungeon masters i think if you watch 2024 last airbender you have to be ready for 10 page backstories from your uh player characters from your dragon masters dragon masters are Dungeons and Dragons players, that's the correct term in my humble opinion. I don't say Dungeons and Dragons player, I think it's too small, it doesn't explain what they really are. Oh, and actually, I don't need to explain it, I have a video right below. So when I say Dragon Master, I mean Dungeons and Dragons player. But Dragon Masters, we, there's been a pushback, right? And, and they're like, oh, if you bring a 10 page, uh, you know, backstory to the table, you're wrong. And that doesn't give your dungeon master enough room to move. That's utter junk, right? And the reality is, the heart of Avatar, the greatest story in Last Airbender, is not Aang. It's not Sokka and Katara. It is Iroh and Zuko, right? So, and some people have wrongly said that Zuko was a, you know, was a son in need of a father and that Iroh was a father in need of a son. That's not correct. Zuko had a ter has a father, a terrible father, Lord Ozai, right? And Lord Ozai harms him physically and mentally, right? And so Zuko is a person who has been harmed by his father physically and mentally, right? Deeply harmed by his, his father physically and mentally, has been betrayed by his sister, right? And has no mother, right? The mother is lost, right? So you have this... Zuko is bent in every possible way, right? And Iroh comes in and he is, is... He's not his father. That's just wrong to understand. Zuko has a father, right? And, and his father has shaped him in many ways, in the wrong ways, right? But Iroh comes in and you want to say that Iroh is his friend, right? That's not right either. He really isn't his friend. I think Iroh is a companion who has the willingness to sacrifice for Zuko and really does more than even a father would. I think most mothers would, you know, do anything for their child. But that's not always true with fathers. Fathers are almost always at a remove. And I think the love of a father for a son is very different, right? But Iroh becomes something more. I think he's not a friend. And even companion is too small a word. I think Iroh becomes a sacrificer. He is willing to sacrifice his time, willing to sacrifice himself for Zuko. And, um, and that relationship shown in the shown in 2024 last airbender we can get there if we push back and say bring me your backstory bring me your backstory right and let people deliver backstories as rich as zuko right and you know shut your notebook dungeon master and build from what your dragon master brings you that's the right way to do it
and we can achieve this incredible storytelling that was achieved by Netflix with 2024 Airbender if we take the 10 page backstories that's written by the best the best Dragon Masters and fully embrace it fully embrace it at every level and um, and make it matter and make it matter every single word you just heard is my humble opinion nothing more nothing less what's important is when I hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennial.